Designing, engineering, and installing complete comfort systems. A good neighbor heating and cooling. And for a limited time, take advantage of a furnace and central air conditioning package. Installed for only $56 a month. Call a good neighbor heating and cooling for a tune-up and inspect your system today. You could see a change in your energy bill. The grill season is upon us. Check out the great selection of grills and grilling accessories, including sauces and rubs. A good neighbor heating and cooling since 1919. Ready to serve 24-7. Hi, Casey Hendrickson here. Uh, you know what? Some interesting things happened on the show this last week, and one of the more popular segments that we had was the things that were said by the Chief Diversity Officer with the Department of Justice, John Robinson. Yeah, we actually have a position called the Chief Diversity Officer at the DOJ. Anyway, we learned some very interesting things with the RNC and the DNC on what is and is not racist anymore, and the rules keep changing. For instance, at the Republican National Convention, we learned that peanuts, the word animals, and the word Chicago all racist now apparently mia love uh who is a black woman who is from uh from utah she's a republican you call her the n-word not so racist peanuts animals chicago yeah that's all racist but the uh, the chief diversity officer again john robinson is his name decided to go ahead and pen a column on informing americans what is and is not offensive anymore because we've apparently forgotten so some of the things that he told us that are offensive and we can't say anymore are hold the fort Turns out it's racist. He actually said that, not me. He said it was racist and it's offensive to Native Americans. He then said going Dutch is offensive to Dutch people because it implies that Dutch people are cheap. I just want to split the bill. I, I, I don't understand. Uh, let's see. Besides, you women want equal rights anyway. You split the bill. That's how it works. Uh, he also said rule of thumb is offensive. You see, rule of thumb apparently goes back to some age. Of course, nobody knew this about a husband being able to beat his wife. And as long as the bruise wasn't as white as his thumb, it was cool. Um, let's see. And oh, oh, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. You ready for this? Handicap. Can't say handicap anymore. So, uh, Mr. Robinson, exactly what in the hell am I supposed to call those parking spaces that take up all the parking lots around town when I'm trying to go buy shoes? I can't call them a handicap space anymore because, well, that's offensive. I don't really know. Handicapable spot? I, I, well, if they're capable, then I should be able to park there, too. Uh, some other things that were thrown out there. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, garbage man is called a sanitation engineer, and a janitor is called a, quote, custodial maintenance engineer. Look, I got much love for garbage men. I got much love for janitors. Look, you got a tough job. I understand that. It's a very important job, but you are not engineers. You didn't go to school to be engineers. You don't have a degree in engineering. You're not an engineer. I'm sorry, but that's just the facts. Of course, you got the whole stewardess thing. You got the administrative assistant instead of secretary, all of that other stuff, too. But uh, these are the new rules, ladies and gentlemen. We better learn to live by them. I'm Casey Hendrickson. You can find me online at theburningtruth.us. By the way, in the comments below... Leave a comment on some everyday things that nobody considers to be offensive that might now be considered racist or offensive, even sexist. Leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching.